Welcome, citizen, to another StarCraft Nation broadcast. I'm your host, Venerati, and today we're going to be having a pretty epic matchup. This one will be a best of three coming in between QXC, which will be spawning here as the Purple Terran, and of course he will be going up against Liquid Huck, spawning as the Red Protoss. We are on Delta Quadrant, and we don't have cross positions. But because this map is really kind of split up in force, we don't have like close air positioning or anything like that on this map, considering everything is kind of equal and the, I guess you could rotate it and switch pieces out. But anyway, <clears throat> that's not the point. What we're going to be having is a TVP on this large map with so many expansions. If we take out here the front door expansion right here, which I guess most would consider the natural, even though we do have this little pocket expansion in the back. That does have the destructible debris, which makes it a little bit harder. It delays the expansion capabilities, but can work well uh, for you if you're if you've got a really aggressive opponent who's mucking around your uh, front ramp, something like that. But it's also very susceptible back here to this high ground abuse, which uh, is generally abused by Terrans. I can't be, of course, abused by Zerk or Protoss, but you really don't see it all that often. So QXC shouldn't have too much to worry about that, but. We do see the original, the first probe scout coming out here looking for that cross position, but it's not going to find anything there. Meanwhile, QXC does actually choose to go north and will be scouting out Liquid Huck first, so he will know what exactly is going on. Now, the openers that we're seeing from our players right now are not anything particularly special. They are pretty basic openers here. We're not seeing any sort of cheesy shenanigans or anything like that coming on here, so QXC doesn't have much to to really play off of. You see, of course, see the gateway coming down. We do already have an assimilator, so it's not going to be a no gas to proxy gate. Sell it rush. We do see the cybernetics core coming down, so QXC is going to be seeing, you know, the, the regular kind of stuff. Meanwhile, Liquid Huck has not actually found out what QXC is up to just quite yet. Uh, QXC will be getting a second rack right here. Does actually have one of the Get, uh, geysers are occupied as well, so not going to be seeing any two-rack marine pressure, maybe like an all-in if we want to do it rain style, something like that. Of course, we do have the orbital command, so all of these things pointing to relatively standard openers that we could see some early pressure from either end right now. So this one probe finally figured out where QXC is is actually going to get the, the smack down here by both of those marines, and its life was unfortunately ended a little bit early here, so let's go ahead and take a look at the income tab. Uh, a, little, a little bit of head of QXC, but nothing special as the Orbital Command will actually put you behind ever so slightly, but of course those mules will more than make up for any lost uh, SCV drone time. So anyway, QXC actually still in the main of Liquid Up will be mucking around and seeing what's going on. We can see Liquid Up grabbing the assimilator here. Now we're still only running off of one gate. Now the center, I'm sorry, the, the stalker's out and the sentry's on the way, so looking to kill this SCV as it has been evading the zealots so far. Meanwhile, though, these two zealots that Liquid Huck has already been putting out here are charging up the ramp, and here they go. The two marines jumping in that bunker, and the zealots are just like, Psh, screw that, and they're going to be running their way all the way back here. We do have a marauder out. Now, of course, these four marines and marauder will be more than enough to deal with what's going on here, but Huck looking to do some economic damage. He will be getting that one SCV. Of course, there we go. The one zealot will be going down. Will this zealot be able to kill another one? I don't think so, as his life, yeah, there we go, was ended there relatively quickly by these four marines and that one marauder, so that first little incursion definitely going to QXC's. Only one SCV did actually go down this front bunker. Of course, really denying those zealots any sort of chance of taking on these marines as they would have been able to chew on the bunker but really wouldn't have been able to get through it but meanwhile though qxc looking to go ahead and um push up here right now of course we do have a sentry up on this ramp so we will be able to force field we'll be able to block this and the stalker will be able to help uh kill anything that actually gets through here so we do have the one marine going up there the force field does go down the marine does die and we do have the second sentry coming here so another force will be going down momentarily. Meanwhile, though, we have a proxy pylon shoved up here in the corner and a twilight cancel going down, so hiding the tech. And here we go, QXC actually able to get a couple of marines in here. Five marines will be able to handle this if they are careful and stay next to this force field. But here we go, the SCVs will be coming up here, and are they going to be meet you? No, throwing down bunkers. Two bunkers here in the main of Liquid Hut. Liquid Hut pulling off a lot of probes right here. 
trying to give these stalkers that much more of a shield, trying to enable them to DPS these units down, killing them, and actually killing one SCV, this other SCV just kind of hanging out right there, more stalkers warping in, the units of QXC just falling right there as we only have three Marauders and three Marines left over from that. So Liquid Huck able to ward that off, but at the cost of uh, quite a few probes right there, as that was not, uh, that's really not the kind of position you want to be in, is having to pull those guys off. Take a look at the losses tab. Actually, QXC overall losing more due to that battle. I don't think that he was able to actually cancel his bunkers. So if we take a look here at the production tab, we will actually have Stimpak finishing up here momentarily. We do have a factory on the way. And Huck is looking to expand over here where he placed this Twilight Cancel. So right now, Liquid Huck uh, just kind of poking around and loitering outside. Meanwhile, though, QXC really preparing for any sort of pressure as he's put the bunker here. Will be the linchpin of this defense, but going to go ahead and spread his units out. Looking to get the concave for those uh, Protoss units trying to rush up here. They will not have the time to kind of spread out to get the proper area to uh, go ahead and apply all of that... Uh, magical, magical firepower that they possess. But, what is this? Actually, we have a Dark Shrine on the way, so Liquid Huck looking to uh, mix it up a little bit here. I'm going to be throwing some DPs down, and this could be very dangerous because QXC right now is using his Orbital Command Juice on the mules, and this means he's not going to have anything set up for a scan. He doesn't have any... He doesn't even have an Engineering Bay down unless there's one... That I just cannot see. No, he doesn't actually have Ninja Bay down, so that means no towers. We don't have a starport with a tech lab attachment, so no ravens. And we do have a second command center coming, so that could help. But we don't have any detection other than the scans here for QXC. And that could really leave him in a huge bind, especially if he just casts a mule down. That's going to leave him about a 30 second gap at least for you know, him to get that charge back up there, and those DTs will do so much damage, especially underneath the micro capabilities of a player like Liquid Huck. Now, here we go. One Marauder charging up here. We'll be stimming and trying to uh, figure out what exactly is going on. We'll be, of course, smacked down right there promptly, and a, force field, a defensive force field going down as well to deny any more pressure or any more scouts as, as Liquid Huck is really not sure what exactly is down there. Doesn't want a nice Marauder army to be able to waltz up there on unsplit, unmolested, anything like that. But here we go. QXC actually will be scouting out the base of Liquid Hunk, and he sees the Nexus, or I'm sorry, the expansion, so the Nexus is there, but we do have DTs in the main of QXC. QXC, though, does have enough for a scan, but he's got to make this scan count as it's the only one. There we go. Scan going down right here in the mineral line. We do see that one DT going down relatively promptly. The front bunker right there in a lot of trouble with the DTs is chewing away on it. He's already got three kills. We don't have another scan here, though we do have a command center on the way with that orbital command attachment. So a scan will be coming down here, and there it is. One DT going down instantly. This other DT trying desperately to get away from the air vision, but it's not going to be enough. Only one DT left in the area right now, and he's going to be chewing away right here. 29 mana left here for the orbital command, so precious, precious moments here. For Liquid Hunt to do damage, we do actually have a missile turret coming down here in the middle of this mineral line. It's going to be very important that this mineral line stays safe right here as this missile turret actually just comes online. That SCB taking a full attack there by the Warp Blade so that one, uh, the, the Dark Templar trying to get one last kill. He has six kills, getting a little ballsy though as he just totally goes down as he kills that Marine. So racking up seven kills really is putting the fear of God in QXC right here as Liquid Huck has pretty much bottled QXC up, but now QXC does have the Raven. He will have the constant protection that he needs, and of course that DT will be paying the price right there for his uh, insolence. And we have a nice little bio ball starting to accumulate here. Let's take a look at the army tab as Liquid Huck does have a substantial... Well, he did have a lead overall, but there we go. He has the economic lead right now, 46 to 36 as there was a lot of damage done by those DTs. Meanwhile, Liquid Huck does have an uh, expansion already up, already going. Nice level of saturation, not full saturation here, but we do have a drone or a probe transfer. We'll be putting that to full saturation. Actually, uh, supply locked right there because of those proxy pylons being knocked down. We do have the Observer sitting here that's about to be in a lot of trouble if it doesn't move, and there we go. It's going to be escaping, hopefully, maybe, not sure, as those Marines stem. And nope, there it goes. But not to worry, as they are super cheap, and look what I really don't have to worry about that. So let's take a look at the production tab. We have legs coming, we have side storms, and we have Templar coming. So we're about to see a 
Templar reaction to this bio ball with so many Marines in the mix up is going to be very effective as as those side storms just do so much damage to these light bio or these biological units, and these Marines are paper thin when it comes to absorbing them, unlike their Marauder buddies here, which have the 125 XP. And there we go, a defensive force field coming down here from Liquidac trying to stave off this attack. And I'm not sure it's going to be enough as this one sentry is not going to have enough for a second force field. We do have reinforcements showing here from uh, Liquidac trying to kind of ward off this attack, trying to catch the QXC in a bad position as we do actually have turrets coming down here. Uh, the auto turrets, of course, will be adding a nice uh, effect, a defensive effect, protecting the flanks, if you will of this little bio army that we have coming down here but right now Psy Storms and Charge Lots will be finishing up here momentarily and here we have actually have a drop coming down as these cells try to warp in here under the fire of these God's Rifles and the units supporting those uh, invaders from the low ground as the Stalkers show up another drop coming here as QXC lifting all these units to the high ground going to be trying to take out these production facilities as he stem will be taking out the pylon cancel will be taking out that pylon looking to get at the other pylon but not actually going after the Dark Shrine as the Dark Shrine is really what could be causing him a lot of issues in the future, but it does look like uh, QXC's forces here will be mopped up momentarily. Actually, these Stalkers just kind of hanging out here, letting the Zealots do all the work. And now we actually see another attack coming from QXC. We'll be heading for the main of Liquid Huck. And Liquid Huck really doesn't have that much inside of his main, so we could be seeing a lot of damage here as they do stem. And we'll be running up here, actually looking to put down a bunker in the main, trying to solidify this attack. We see force fields coming down. The bunker not able to actually get the area it needs to go down and getting built. But bad rally units right here as those reinforcements get caught by the force of Liquid Hunt. The main army actually showing up here as the Marauders and Marines here desperately trying to micro their way into this mineral line, looking to do some damage. They will be killing off a few here, but is it going to be worth it? I'm not really sure as they are being mopped up here by the leftover zealots. And if we take a look here at the losses tab, ugh, QXC still behind here from Liquid Hunt as we do actually see Liquid, or I'm sorry, QXC expanding twice. QXC trying to get this uh, little ninja base going over here, but Liquid Hunt seeing what's going on will be putting down this pylon. Meanwhile, we have massive saturation here by QXC in this little pocket expansion. And it's kind of looking a little rough here for QXC because we have a army knocking on his front door. We actually have a missile turret coming down here. Looking to see any detection, but we don't actually have any DTs really in the mix up here. As Psy Storms are really what's going to be the main issue here. As Psy Storms knocking out a lot of those units right there. Guardian Shields coming up as we see pressure going down on these bunkers, on these SCVs, all these biological units just really taking a psionic bath. That's not what you want to be doing. Those two Marauders just leaping into this bunker, trying to get them to safety, but the bunker being knocked down there as these guys are just paper thin underneath the just power attacks of these uh, stalkers as they just really melt through them. You would really think the bunkers would do more, but unfortunately they don't. Well, unfortunately for Terrence. But either way, here we go. QXC in a lot of trouble as his production facilities are all just trying to pump out these units, but they're going to be trickling in to the, this deadly maw of the stalker and Archon army as it doesn't look like QXC is really going to be doing, going to be able to really do much. Take a look at the income cap. He's actually got a lot of income, he just doesn't have the standing army. He doesn't have, he's not going to have this, the production facilities soon enough here to actually utilize that income. And here we go, GG coming down from QXC. Is Liquid Huck able to best QXC here with a combination of, of, uh, of proxy technology? Uh, really, he caught QXC with his pants down as far as the DTs go. He didn't have detection. And that really threw him off balance. He wasn't able to expand. He wasn't able to attack because he had to keep those units inside the base to try to model up his forces to where it would be very difficult for Liquid Hunk to just focus fire his SCVs, completely cripple his economy, and win it outright. But either way, that's pretty much all she wrote for that one. So this will be going to at least game two here as Liquid Huck and QXC will be facing off one more time. So guys, please join for that. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You can always subscribe. I always appreciate that. And with all of that, guys, as always, citizens, stay safe.